All right, we're back in South Georgia. We went to Indiana. Well, first we went to North Alabama. I'll explain all that in a little bit. And then we went to Indiana, which was about a thousand miles round trip from here. And then we came back to North Alabama again. And then we stopped off in South Alabama and came back to South Georgia. Now, for those that don't know, the Southerners have still not given up on the Civil War, I guess, because even in the southern states of Georgia and Alabama, you have North Alabama, which is in the mountains, end of the Appalachian chain, and you have South Alabama, which begins to look more like Florida as far as topography goes. And in Georgia, it's even separated better. You have North Georgia, which is mountainous, Blue Ridge Mountains, beautiful area. You have Middle Georgia, and then you have South Georgia. And I don't know why any of this is. It just is because that's the way it is. We had a pretty good road trip on the Great American Walmart tour. Hit a few more Walmarts looking for things you just can't live without. Could live without them, but they're cheaper here. Uh, lots of traffic, and I'm going to pull it up. And I'm going to find it for those viewers and friends in Finland to see. It seems a new travel center has popped up. Well, travel center means a place where you can buy gas and we can sell you stuff you probably don't need. Uh, what that amounts to is a store where you can get your coffee, colas, junk food, uh, souvenir supplies with the name of their store printed on them at an absorbent price. But I guess the impressive thing about this travel center is it had all told 124 gas pumps. And that, I think, is the ultimate statement on American car culture. Now, bear in mind, this is not the only travel center around. There are more with multiple pumps, but that was something I had not seen since I left here. 124 gas pumps. I'm used to pulling into S Market, K, Yes, I guess they have two pumps. K, okay, I think they have six or eight. And that's a lot of gas pumps. <laughs> and, of course, the Americans are still up in arms because gasoline is very nearly $3 a gallon and a little higher in some places, which... I guess translates to roughly, what, 75 cents a liter? So I can't get too upset about $3 a gallon gasoline when we're paying two and a little better a liter in Finland. But it was a nice trip. Got to see parts of the country I hadn't seen in a lot of years. Oh yeah, I forgot. And you know this, I stopped in Tennessee too, the rugby uh, 
stated our good friends Annie and Donna's Air and B and B. Beautiful place, rugby. Lots of historic value, but just in the Tennessee mountains, clean air, quiet. Highly recommend that for anybody visiting. You want to go? Just hit me with a comment. I'll tell you how to find them. Uh, before that, as stated before, we stopped in North Alabama. Gadsden, Alabama, to be precise, where I was born. Now, I didn't film there. We weren't there a long time. And... I can say this because I'm from Alabama and was born there. I don't care that much for Alabama. Uh, it's where I was born, lived most of my life. Northern Alabama is beautiful country, mountains, hills, good air. But it is what it is. Uh, and then we went to see my daughter in Indiana, a bit north of Indianapolis. Uh, can't say I'm a big fan of Indiana. Not because I was born there. A lot of traffic. Everybody's in a hurry. Uh, seem to be in a big rush to get to, I don't know where they're going. But they want to get there in a hurry. A little different than my life in Kokomaki. Uh, left Indiana, came back down to North Alabama, visited with my brother, who I haven't seen in years, and that was nice to visit, catch up on what's happened to who and who's doing what and where they're doing it, and speculate on why they're doing that. That's North Alabama gossip. That's what else you got to do there. Uh, we then headed back down to, and I'm a little fuzzy on this one. I, I want to call it South Georgia Cordill, but I could offend people because people in North Georgia, Middle Georgia, and South Fort Georgia are very much offended by being referred to as being somewhere other than where they are. Uh, but I'm in Cordell, Georgia now. The next step on the epic journey will be back to Jacksonville, Florida, where I will stay at the Airbnb, where I stayed a few nights after coming in from the airport. And I've done it on Airbnb, and I'm going to go and give them a huge review here. It's a great place. Had basically the one side of the house to ourselves, two bedrooms, private bath. Uh, and my favorite, best of all, anywhere in the world, a pool. Because although I am not really able to swim anymore, I'm more than capable of floating like a rather large scarred manatee in a pool and thoroughly enjoy it so you know between the love of coffee and the love of water and the love of pola maybe there's some finnish heritage in there somewhere you never know uh i just want to do a small update sitting out here on the back uh which reminds me, when I'm asked, what do you miss about America? <laughs> and it's really the only thing I can think of I miss are mockingbirds. Mockingbirds are a force unto themselves. They sing, can sing and mimic hundreds of other bird species. They can sit in the tree and sing for hours and never repeat the same note. And somewhat like the Rakatirastas, they have no fear of cats or animals, which they think are infringing on their territory. But 
I'm listening to them sing now. Don't know if you can hear them. Had a lot of background noise, so I used the little ear thingies. You know, high tech stuff. Uh, but I'm listening. They're singing now, and, and that, if anything I miss in Finland, is that, is being able to hear, to sit year round and hear the Mockingbird song. I was born around them, heard them all my life, and I guess when you don't hear something you've heard all your life, then maybe it makes you miss it more. But I will this time do a video from Florida so everyone can see where I am. We're in Jacksonville. We're in the closer to the panhandle of Florida. And we're not on the Atlantic coast with the beaches. So unless we just happen to go to Jacksonville Beach, you won't see me there. We're not on the coast of the Gulf of Mexico. <coughs> Excuse me. And it's almost a given you will not see me there since we're not that far from where the hurricane came in. And I see no reason to add to the disarray of going to visit and uh, sightsee. And again, just add to their disarray that much more. And there's probably areas they're not allowing people in. We're... I think about two and a half hours northeast of where the hurricane came in. So we'll just stay clear of that. But I'll try to get you some pictures and I'll show you the pool that I'm going to float around in. And uh, I won't show you the traffic because I try not to curse on here. So you know, it's a given that if I get into traffic, somebody's going to get cussed out. So we won't do that. Maybe some views going down of the highway so everybody in Finland can see the giant highways that America uses to travel wherever they're going so they can get there and have fun and hurry up and get back. But we'll leave it at that. As you can see, I had nothing of any great importance to say. Just thought I'd fill you in on what the hillbilly's up to.